Hello everybody, John Adolfi here. Welcome to 19 Skilly Road, right outside of Central Square in the town of Hastings. What we have here is a 1948 square foot home with a, I'm gonna call that a two and a half car garage. We got some noisy dogs across the street and they're beautiful looking dogs too. <laughs> all right, I can tell you already that with the moss and the and the deterioration too, that roof right there is going to need to be replaced that's on the on the garage, okay? And we're going to go ahead and just move forward here. It's got texture 111 on the garage and also on the house. Well, yeah, that is a texture 111. House roof looks, well again, with the with all the leaves and everything on it and with the um, moss that has grown, it's kind of a darker moss. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what age the roof is, but if I had to take a guess, I would say that it is 10 to 15 years old. Yeah, that's my best guess. Okay, let's take a look around back and then we'll head inside. Well, I'm coming down like a hill here. Um, this right here is all fenced in, so if you have a pet, no problem there as far as it keeping it safe. Big, huge deck, multi-tiered, and then it goes down to the woods right here. There's 1.96 acres, okay? And that's all we can see from this angle. Let's head inside. Okay, so let's go inside and see what we can see. Lots of carpet. Lots of carpet. Um, kind of an interesting, kind of weird feel to it when you first walk in. You almost feel like you're in a museum, an art museum than you are in a house. Just the way it's laid out and then the color schemes. I know you're seeing lots of wall of color and that's about it. Oh, here we go. Now we've got some paneling <laughs> in a bedroom. I'll tell you what, I am not a big fan of paneling. I know a lot of people aren't, but there is one thing you can say about them, and that is it's durable. You can throw a, you know, if you got kids or a pet and you throw a ball, you throw a toy against it, it's not going to mark up like sheetrock does. That's the one redeeming quality, if you might want to call it, of, of paneling. Okay, the carpets. So far what I'm seeing right now is just all new fresh paint and carpeting. Carpeting's a little bit worn. Looks like we might have some pets there. That's as we indicated outside with the uh, with the fencing. Doors are cheap, Luan. Not Luan, but just cheap doors. Okay, here we're showing we're dating this house a little bit. Okay, with the bathroom, got some funky tile. It's not in bad shape. It's just you know it's it's dated. It's worn a bit. Same thing with the tub. Can, oh, I know what's missing. All the, um, not all of it, but the uh, baseboard trim. Oh, yeah. Baseboard trim and all of the, <laughs> a lot of the house has not been replaced. Carpeting is old. Wicked old. Two closets. Needs to be finished in there, it looks like. You know, just not, yeah, just not done right. So... You know, but but almost there, you know what I mean? Back room here, walk-in closet. Again, it's not been developed into a walk-in closet. It may have been at one time. I can see there's something that was missing there. And a really grody bathroom. I would tear that right out and replace most of it. At least the flooring and the kitchen sink. I'm sorry, not the kitchen sink, but the bathroom sink. And there's some pieces missing there too. Okay. So we've looked at a couple, three bedrooms. This room right here, I'm not sure what in the world it is. I'm sure this is your dining room. And then you step down a couple of steps into the living room. And it looks like it had a wood burning stove here at one time and you could replace it with that. All right, let's go in the kitchen, see what the kitchen has. I can already tell you that there's vinyl uh, tiles that are cheap and they're peeling. Uh, the cabinetry is intact, it's old, some staining going on, not staining, but just that could be cleaned off right there that's on there, whatever that is. <clears throat> All right, so they're intact, but they're old. Countertops need to be replaced. 
you know, get some new appliances in here. Yeah, and here's that deck out there. Big, just hasn't been, you know, it's just like the overall feel of this house is just that it needs an awful lot of facelift, you know? Stuff that, maintenance that's been neglected. You know, that's pretty kind of, that's kind of gross. That needs to be, you know, freshened up a little bit. <laughs> All right, no, we're back in the, we're back at that room again. All right, I'm gonna search around for a basement and then we'll head down there next. Right, I just came down the basement stairs and oh, look at that, got a garage door there. And look, there's the missing <laughs> wood burning stove. Now you could put that back upstairs, or it looks like it was also connected here at one time. In the meantime, we have got a furnace and we'll go around the side and take a look at it in just a second. All right. Pretty high ceilings here. They're at least a good eight feet. That's good. You got a workbench there. Big windows looking out over your forest. Okay. And oh, this, this furnace looks newer. That's nice. It's an oil furnace. Nice. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And you got what do you. Whoops. <laughs> All right, we got another, you know, the layout is all kind of wacky, you know? All right, I put some plastic down in here so that the moisture that comes through the ground doesn't, you know, come into the basement any more than it needs to. Here's a utility area. We've got a well system here. And we've got a gas um, hot water tank. Oh, well, that's good. That means if you ever do replace your furnace, you can go ahead and replace with gas. That may be propane, but... Uh, it looks like it's natural gas. All right, so after we've seen all we've seen, I'll give you my final thoughts in just all a All right, second. let's go ahead and recap 19 Shilly, Skilly Road. <laughs> the assessed value on this property is $128,000. HUD, I'm sorry, HUD didn't sell it. It sold in 2006 at the height of the market for $119,000. But in 1995, it sold for eighty nine. dollars So HUD's asking price, unless another price point pops up. Uh-oh, here comes a thumb. 74,000, the thumb is saying absolutely an th enthusiastic thumbs up. All right, listen, say no more. Grab a hold of your phone and call us now, 695-6434. Thumb never lies and real estate is awesome.